Hello, I'm Felicity Kay. I'm here from El Tel Medical. We're a subdivision of the IAI. We're presenting here today some of Israel's best, most cutting edge technologies. So, what we've got here is the Tamar system. It's actually named after an El Tel employee who died, unfortunately, of the virus uh, when she. She was very young. She was one of the first youngest victims of the pandemic in Israel. Um, and basically, we asked ourselves, why is this happening? Why are we sending our frontline staff into the line of fire, um, potentially infecting people and so forth? Because if your health line, your healthcare staff go down, everyone goes down. So basically, what we've come up with is the Tamar. This is basically the culmination of Israeli innovation, all the startup technology and startup energy with proven military technology. What we have here is a radar. Okay, it's actually uh, from the use in the military. Um, we've adapted it for civilian use. Now, what this does is, it's pretty insane. It measures all these different physiological signs. So if you look at the screen here, we have in Celsius, not in Fahrenheit, that will change. Uh, we have someone's actual body temperature. We have their um, heart rate. We have their respiration rate, their respiration ratio. Because the idea is, and that's not from touching them, it's completely remote, completely non-touch. The idea is that you need to have that kind of space because if someone potentially has an infection, you don't want to be going in anywhere near them. Secondly, all of this can be done remotely. We remotely measure the signs that matter. Something like under 8% of people actually express a fever when they have COVID, and it's usually after 10 days of being infected. So all those temperature checkers at the doors and, and everything, they're completely useless. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, but this is, these are the signs that matter. Now, this is a layer in your existing security protocols. So what that means is if you see that someone has an issue here, whether they've just entered an airport or a casino or whatever, you then send them further testing. It's a very easy, quick way, automated, that you can open your skies, open your public spaces, isolate the people who need further testing, who might be questionable, and let people go back to what they were doing, opening public areas without sacrificing the health and safety of the public.